Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, where I'll be talking about the movies, TV shows, merchandising, uh, theme parks, whatever the case may be, I guess you can say. So basically, I'm doing another video of this. That's a part of uh, this long line of series of videos that I've been doing where I'll be talking about lost cinema. The basic idea here is that I'll be talking about canceled movies, and that's exactly what this is. So, yes, I'll be covering movies that were canceled, that were either in, in development already, or maybe already made, but were never released for whatever reason, or they were about to be released, or they were about to be uh, made. They weren't just made, but maybe about to be, I guess you can say. Uh, even, it's in various stages. Oh, yeah. That's the basic idea here. Even if you've gotten into filmmaking, that doesn't necessarily mean that your your vision would be made. Maybe sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse. And, yes, getting into movies, that alone is also a struggle. Not that I'm trying to discourage anybody from doing anything, just, you know, throwing it out there. Because it is tough. It's, it's very competitive. But that in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, obviously. But it doesn't like a, there's lots of factors that come to this. Because you have to think about the marketing, the audience, who are you going to market this to? There's like a lot of stuff that come in, into play, is what I'm getting. There's a lot of stuff that you have to consider, obviously. And especially trying to be more original, that's also a complication as well, because... A lot of people don't want to see more original stuff. A lot of people just want to stick with the familiar. That's one of the reasons as to why we see a bunch of remakes or a bunch of sequels or prequels, side stories, TV shows are attached to it or what have you. Yes, Star Wars is pretty much really well known for that kind of thing, for having, for having these kind of coming in with these TV shows, the, the lore and whatnot. So if anything, yes, Star Wars is infamous for that. So of course there's going to be a bunch of stuff in regards to this. So, as you can see, yes, there's going to be another Star Wars-related video where the movie is supposed to be made, but wasn't. So, of course, this could be in regard of a variety of different reasons. Obviously, because it could be creative differences. Maybe the budget wasn't, wasn't high enough or what have you. There's like a bunch of reasons that could, you know, get in the way to prevent it from being made. So, yeah, Zack Snyder over here actually wanted to do a Star Wars movie. So, okay. Yeah, his style of filmmaking tends to be dark, gloomy, depressing, which in itself isn't necessarily bad. You know, Star Wars films is capable of doing you know, gloomy stuff, and, and that's fine. That in itself isn't inherently wrong, really, and that's that's fine. So, yes, of course, he wanted to do his own thing, of course, obviously. So, ultimately, he wanted to do his own kind of a thing with his with this, his vision of Star Wars, obviously. So, it's not going to be that much of a stretch that the, his vision of the Star Wars would have gone in the lines of making it, you know, sad, dark, and stuff like this. Something like, maybe something that's bittersweet, maybe. So, there's that, I guess you can say, which is fine. Yeah, it was going to be heavily inspired by movies such as this, which doesn't seem much of a stretch anyway, considering the fact that Star Wars stuff did take some direct inspiration from the Japanese culture to begin with. So, that's not that far off, actually. So, putting in the realm of that kind of uh, idea just fits perfectly with Star Wars. You know, with the lightsabers and all that jazz. Have, having some sort of honorable code and everything. So, again, it would be fitting just fun. It would do it justice in that matter. Because, again, it comes from the fact that, well, George Lucas, the original director of these movies, had taken some inspiration from all the cultures to begin with. So, yeah, Star Wars was always having some hodgepodge of different inspiration from other sources to begin with, so there you go. And to be more precise here, this was going to be during the period of time where George Lucas with Lucas Films pretty much completed the 
prequel trilogy and was in the process of handing over the rights to the Disney Corporation. So, yes, it goes that far back. Zack Snyder himself had wanted to do something like this like decades ago. So, yeah, to give you some sort of idea when this was supposed to have be a thing. Of course, Zack Snyder had been making a lot of money for himself, and Netflix had pretty much had him down for a new movie following the success of Army of the Dead. It was originally actually confirmed that the filmmaker was, was set to co-wrote and direct a movie titled Red Moon, which is, it was intended to be this an original sci-fi movie kind of thing. It was intended to be for Netflix and whatnot, though the movie does not necessarily have its origins in something that's un, uh, really original, I guess you can say. So this was basically going on the idea of repurposing a Star Wars movie that Zack Snyder had wanted to do for quite some time. So Zack Snyder wanted to do something in regards of this, of course, when he was promoting Army of the Dead. He was at, at some uh, period of time working on a new entry of this uh, sci-fi franchise when he was explaining that it was right after they had done the prequel trilogy and after the sale to Disney. And, uh, I guess he wanted to do something, uh, to do something in regards of that, I suppose. And just as long as the product that got done in, in the way he wanted to do, I suppose. But to what extent, I'm not sure how this would have came out, really. But I do wonder, would he be working directly with George Lucas at the time? Or maybe he doesn't. He didn't want Disney to have to hands on this. I know a lot of fan base felt like Disney ruined the franchise. Did he feel the same way? I don't know. Maybe did he feel like this franchise was going to be in the wrong hands? I'm not sure. He did mention that he was he wanted to fix something. And okay, I mean personally speaking, I was fine with what Disney had done. With Star Wars, I know they made quite a few films when they finally got their hands on it. So, personally speaking, I didn't mind the Star Wars films that Disney had produced. Yes, I know I'm a minority in this, but that aside, I just want to say that to what extent was this going to happen? I'm not quite sure. Was the idea that he was hoping to set this project in the right hands, like I was saying a moment ago? I don't know. Yes, obviously, Disney eventually purchased the rights for stars up in 2012. So, from that point onward, everything changed. So, ultimately, what prevented him, Zack Snyder, from making his Star Wars film was simply because uh, Disney stepped in, pretty much. So, because of that, we never saw the movie that he wanted to do. So, uh, I'm guessing he didn't like what Disney was going to do. Maybe he foresaw something. Maybe he felt like Disney was not the right choice for this franchise. That's how it seems. Like, maybe he didn't like the fact that Disney was about to purchase the rights for this. Maybe, I guess. But at least that's a vibe. I, I'm getting that's That's what I, I'm terming this, folks. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but that's at least what I'm getting from here, folks. But, and it's not that the franchise itself hadn't gone dark before. Yeah, they have, they have gone dark before. Yeah, like this one, for example, that got pretty gory. Yeah, it's a Star Wars sci-fi horror kind of thing. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, this hasn't happened before. But then again, maybe it's a good thing that we didn't see a Zack Snyder Star Wars movie because... Why did you say that name? Okay. The fact that he didn't direct Star Wars eventually led into going into a different franchise, which, of course, this right here. He directed Man of Steel, so that led to a bunch of other movies, obviously, all of which were pretty successful in their own way. So, yeah, so it's kind of felt like all this came into being because he couldn't get what he wanted with Star Wars. So that led to 
creating this expanded universe for DC when you think about it. And yes, a lot of these movies were made, obviously, even though they were planning to make a lot more. Yeah, the reception for these movies were rather mixed, I guess you can say, so that's something. But, and that's the thing, folks. I mean, same thing can be said for the Star Wars sequel trilogy that was mixed. But Disney had made some gloomy Star Wars movies before as well, when they were making these movies. I mean, they still are, but again, the fact that they will make something kind of depressing in some sort of fashion is not that much of a stretch, really. So anyway, the fact that Zack Snyder didn't direct these movie, his movie anyway, so that right there led to, yeah, Star Wars being made by Disney, and they're doing their own thing, of course, which is fine, I guess you can say. I personally didn't mind these movies at all. I might be a minority in this, but yeah, I was fine with them. But anyway, just thought I will just talk about this because of the fact that it's related to Disney in some sort of way. And that's kind of the point to begin with. They want to talk about Disney in some sort of fashion and whatnot. So yeah, it does make me wonder what could have been. But at the same time, again, this probably, like I said before... This is one of those rare occasions where I felt like maybe it's a good thing he didn't do it. Maybe it's a good thing that this wasn't made. Whatever he had in mind, maybe it's best left alone. So yeah, he could have just as well do a really terrible movie. Since the DC Spanish Universe is on a, having a bad record when you think about it. They made a lot of bad DC movies. So maybe it's for the best that he didn't do it. So there you go, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see you.